In a video about heart coherence, Dr. Joe Dispenza mentioned the benefits of meditation, and in particular the notion of feeling in a particular state of being ahead of the intended event, and how doing so can lead to better opportunities coming to you. And so in this video, he walks us through the biology of those changes, and also speaks about how novice meditators have dramatic biological changes after one week of going all in. And now let's hear Dr. Joe Dispenza walk us through it all. You start to see those synchronicities, those coincidences, those opportunities start showing up in your life and you're not going anywhere to get them they're actually coming to you now let's just look at the biology of this epigenetics says it's the environment that signals the gene genes don't create disease our response to the environment actually creates disease well the end product of an experience in the environment is called an emotion so the person who lives by the same emotion every single day the body's so objective, it's believing it's living in the same environment, doesn't know the difference. And they keep the same genes signaled in the same way. Genes make proteins. Proteins are responsible for the structure and function of your body. The expression of proteins is the expression of life. And the person now is in the same emotional state. They're expressing the same genes and nothing changes in our life until we change. Okay, so now the person who trades resentment and frustration and anger and everything else for an elevated emotion and they can sustain that state the body's so objective that it's believing it's living in a different environment. So they're knocking on the genetic door. So the elevated emotion, the person memorizes. The body doesn't, is so objective, it doesn't know the difference between the real life experience that's creating that emotion and the emotion that that person's regulating by thought alone. Keep knocking on the genetic door. You downregulate the gene for disease and you upregulate the gene for health because their body's in a different emotional state and the body's believing it's living in a different environment. And we've done studies with novice meditators and we were curious to see what kind of biological changes would take place in one week if you went all in, like all in, like immersed yourself in the entire week long event. So we, we, we draw blood and we look at about 2,882 metabolites, all uh, exosomes, gene expression, and at the end of seven days, the novice meditators, almost 100% of them, show substantial biological changes in their blood that suggest that they're living in a different environment. Now, here's the weird part about it. They're in a ballroom. <laughs> There's nothing going on in a ballroom. I've been to thousands of ballrooms. There's nothing very exciting going on in a ballroom. They're actually making those changes inwardly. And I say to our research team, where are those chemicals coming from? Where are they coming from? The person's not taking any substance. Yeah. It's coming from within us. And so the nervous system starts manufacturing a whole pharmacy of chemicals equal to the person's intention and emotional state. And it's how we think and how we feel that begins to alter things in our lives. In terms of this kind of genre, we have a very high percentage of men come to our work. Um, and I think the number one reason why is because we use science uh, as the model. We, we rationalize, we give, we, we combine quantum physics with neuroscience, with neuroendocrinology, with psychoneuroimmunology, the mind-body connection, epigenetics, electromagnetism. We build a model. And so guys like, they like the, they like to understand all of that stuff so they can reason with it so they can leap. Women somehow tend to be a lot more intuitive. It resonates with them. They trust that and they just seem to flow a little differently. But then again, you know, we have men that, that come and of course, a lot of times their partner wants them to come, but they really come because they notice the change in their partner. They're like, wow, they're way different. I can see that their response to things is completely different. In other words, my memory of them, this person is not fitting into how I remember them. They're yeah. out of phase, you know? So, so then when men finally do commit and they, they understand the science and, and gosh, I mean, it's a really big thing for a man to get in touch with those feelings, right? Because in the, in the game of competition, you know, the, the rut, you know, the roost, you're, you're always trying to compete. You're always trying to get ahead. You're always, yeah. can't be vulnerable. Well, um, that works for a really uh, a, a good amount of time when you are matter trying to change matter, when you got to do things and you got to work hard and you got to be driven and all that stuff, sacrifices. 
But we teach that there's another actually another way to create, actually, and that is really that that opportunity for them to open their hearts. Now, I have stood next to men that have done it and completely reversed the health condition within a very short amount of yeah. time because you know, here comes the house of cards. You know, they they just realize that they've been holding this facade, this image of themselves, just so that they can keep up and play the game. And um, instead of waiting for crisis or disease or diagnosis, um, and once they get in touch with their feelings again, there's nothing like a man who's leading with his heart. Yeah. Oh my God, they consider the whole. And, and so, so, and then you take a look at women, you know, and this is just, again, a general observation. W women hold the family together. Uh, they make a whole lot of sacrifices. They continue to forgive. Um, they do a lot of things. They put themselves after they've taken care of their family. And all of a sudden they already know how to love. You just teach them how to get very clear on their intention and watch out. I mean, they're, they're women do amazing, amazing work.